I'm Electric. Bray and Sash. And welcome back. To Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Alright. So we are getting back into it after a rather emotional and a bit uh, terrifying episode. Yeah, it's like the backstory of how like Alphonse and Edward they became how they became in their journey to make sure that they get Alphonse's body back and if Edward gets his arm back. Everyone said this is a sad ending to this anime, so it's like I really hope it's not that sad to where they don't end up actually getting what they want. Right, and uh, it was terrifying to see what kind of, what alchemy can lead to when it's not um, sanctioned, you know. Which makes sense of why like they have so many rules yeah. and regulations. Yeah, because of the monstrosity that people can create. So obviously there's going to be people that uh, don't abide by the rules, mm -hmm. but still, let's see why. Um, but but it, also, we learned that Edward is able, he doesn't need a... Uh, what is it called? That circle? Yeah. He doesn't need that in order to perform alchemy. He can just do it with his hands. Yeah. So that's really rare and that's not, it's really, you have to be an experienced alchemist in order to be able to do it. And even like the pro alchemists still need a something mm -hmm. circle to be able to help them. Roy Mustang was there from the beginning. Yeah. And uh, our boy is eating over there. If you hear him, that's him eating. So. Yes. Pretty much. Alright, so let's get into it. This is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Season 1. Episode 3. Here we go. Those who have lost their way, the sun god Nico shall shine. So what are you guys like? Street performers or something? Seriously, do we look like street performers to you? Yeah, that's why I asked. Let's go out. Hey! Easy, I didn't mean nothing by it. Full Metal Alchemist, Edward Elric, is that right? a voice actor for Edward. The child and the man wearing a suit of armor. They would Full Metal Alchemist has come to call on us. That's him? The man in the armor? Hmm. Dressing the party would seem. But why would a state alchemist be here in Lior? They sure. always think Alphonse is it's possible this the actual is alchemist. Too sharp for his own good. Truly it is. Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're wow, doing? Wow, it's not right, right, huh? As I said, because it is an alchemy. But then I started thinking about it. If you'd somehow managed to acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy, one that's said to make the impossible possible, that would explain everything. What? I'm talking what? about the Philosopher's Stone. It's in the ring. The ring. That's it, isn't it? Shoot the full metal alchemist. No, I... Mother, I can't do that. I am the Sun God's chosen emissary. My word is the word of Leto himself. It was I who took your hand and led you oh. into God's light. And do you recall what it was I promised you then? You said if I had faith, you'd bring it back to life! No! No, wait! It's not me, honest! Damn it, I'm the full metal alchemist! It's not him! It's me! It's the short one! You're kidding! Godly 
Ito is pleased you have done well, my child. But you're dead. I thought you were... Don't worry about it. He's pretty solid. Yeah, see? No one does. And... a real piece of the stone. Oh like the end credits they don't really do previews 
Oh wait, I have a list. They sent a list of... There's an actual list of episodes that have end credit scenes that we need to watch. And there's a list of sweet boys that are going to Far back, okay. Mine. You know, you can put that on night mode, right? Yes, but it helps me. Why? I don't know, just does. I got a car with an app. Okay, so it's not this one. Cool. Let me actually screenshot. Thank you so much. Um, all right. I really like this episode because it really... It, it was a nice twist on alchemy and how people abuse it. And how they twist it to make it seem like what it, act, it, what it isn't. Yeah, no, it, was, uh, it was a really good episode because uh, we focused on like the religion because with alchemy. It's like, why would people be religious when you can just, like, have that kind of power over objects? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It seemed like they're kind of bagging hard on religion, but, you know. But at the end, I think, like, it still kind of hints on religion, because it's like, you need to believe in something. You just need to keep moving. Whatever it is, choose something to believe in. Choose your own path and keep moving forward. Don't give up. Yeah, I mean, so, so, so. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I didn't enjoy that part, necessarily, um, but, you know, it's a different world. Yeah. It's, um... I like this episode, though, because it kind of shows more depth, and it shows how, uh, Alphonse and Edward kind of learn from their mistakes, like, there's no way that they could bring their mom back, they're not mm -hmm. gonna try it again, but they're definitely still hope for Alphonse and Edward and getting, exactly. fixing their bodies. No, they've accepted it, and that's really, mm -hmm. it's a lot of maturity to accept a death, so they've done that. And they're still on their way. Yeah. <sighs> Let us know what you guys thought of this episode, if you were watching it along with us, or if you already seen it. Um, what you guys think of our reactions? What are, Do you agree with what we think? Do you disagree? If you do, comment respectfully in the comments below, and we can have a discussion about it. Exactly. Alright, guys. We will see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>